It's Tuesday morning, it's just after eight. My kids are still asleep. It is a, another rainy, gloomy day. They have spring break this week, I don't know if I mentioned that. So I actually have my mom's group to go to this morning that meets once a month. I already got in my walk this morning. I'm just at the computer doing a little bit of, you know, computer things, but I really need to go and get ready now and get them up and get everyone breakfast, coffee, all the things. And I just love these mornings when we, I get to go to my mom's group. It's just such a wonderful time. It's through our church. It's a, like a mentoring mom kind of scenario where there's like older moms that have wisdom to share and us younger moms that can kind of glean their wisdom. So it's just a great day. They provide breakfast. It's wonderful. I just got ready and my hair has gotten so ridiculously long. I can't remember the last time I cut it. If it was November, October, I don't even remember, but every time I'm doing it, it's just like the curling iron takes forever. I need a haircut, but we are getting ready. I just made some oatmeal for breakfast. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and then I'm gonna make some coffee. So I'm gonna fill this up and get down my beans. We got some local roasted coffee and it is so, so good. It's just like a little farm stand near us. And this is, I think, do I have any more? Oh, I do. Okay, good. I do have a little bit more, but I'm like savoring every cup of it. It's so good. Have a good day. Ooh, we'll be All right. So we just got back home and we had a really nice morning. I stopped and got the kids some Duncan for like brunch basically. And I actually won this little bouquet of flowers. They always do a giveaway every time of multiple different things. They give away a meal, like a dinner, and they give away flowers, sometimes devotional, sometimes like cute hand soaps, it just depends. But I almost always pick the flowers. But it came in this pink vase and has this big bow. I think I'm gonna transfer it out to a different vase that I have. And I can just go ahead and donate that, that's no big deal. But they're so beautiful. I love this flower, this Elstromeria lasts forever. And the tulips are just beautiful for spring. But I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast now. I'm warming up some of those sausage that I made yesterday and make some eggs. And that'll be, I mean, it's basically, it's almost noon, so this is kind of like brunch as well. So I've just been working on a puzzle, a new puzzle with my daughter. She loves to do them, and it's a little bit challenging. It's a bunch of squares with a lot of blank space, so we just got the border done. Now I'm taking a break from that, and I just set up the preschool lesson for today. Still working on P, and I pulled out some, a collection of Bob books, so I don't have to look at look for them each day. Just different books that have the word or the letter P in it somehow. Then we're going to read this book because we're studying plants, the seedling. And then to kind of supplement, I'll pull out pages from this kindergarten workbook because it kind of just covers all the concepts. So this is a little bit of number recognition, but also it talks about puppy, which starts with P. Here's some P. You know, recognizing P and writing it, and then this one about plants and what plants need. And we don't necessarily do all these today. We're just gonna read one of these books, but I just pulled them out for the next couple weeks. So that's all that's we're gonna do today. Hug is as snug as a bug in a rug. The end. All right, so while the boys are down for quiet time, I'm just gonna pop in an earbud and get some things done around the house. Being able to listen to an audiobook or even someone else's YouTube video where 
I don't have to necessarily be looking at it. I can kind of just listen. It helps me get so much done around the home because I just have something going in the background. The set I'm wearing are Raycon's Everyday Earbuds and I am so grateful to be partnering with them today. They are sponsoring this portion of today's vlog, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. I am a huge earbud fan and have been for years. And these are seriously the most comfortable. They fit so well into my ear, which I have kind of a small ear and some in the past will kind of fall out or I just, when I lean over, they'll fall down or something. And these fit so well. I can wear them when I'm on my treadmill, when I am doing my workouts and they stay in perfectly well. So yes, big fan. I wear an earbud just about every day to get things done and Raycon's Everyday Earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And on top of that, they're half the price of other premium audio brands. The day they arrived, they took literally seconds to pair with my Bluetooth and the charging case holds up to 32 hours of battery life. The reach is amazing. I can literally wear them anywhere in my home and go downstairs, go outside even, and it will reach up to about 30 feet away. These earbuds allow me to easily switch tracks or turn up the volume or even take a call. And then if I want to stop it, I can just tap the earbud, take it out, whatever I'm listening to automatically stops. And then when I want to resume listening, I can just put it back in, tap it, and it'll start right where I left off. You can choose to be totally immersed in what you're listening to and block out outside noise with their noise isolation feature or you can use the awareness mode, which allows you to listen to what you're listening to, but it doesn't block everything out. You can definitely still hear what's going on around you, especially if you only have one in. I could definitely hear what I'm listening to and still be aware of you know, where my kids are, if they're sleeping, if they're waking up things like that. So if you're interested in trying out Raycon's Everyday Earbuds for yourself and you want to buy something small that has a big impact, you can head to my description box below and click my link. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash old world home for 20% off your Raycon purchase. Wow. There's only 22 layers. 22? Yep. So tall. It's taller than me. It is. Well, if I stand next to it, it's still taller than me. Do we have any more of these? The square or the double triangles? Oh my goodness. It's so tall. Okay. Look, it's on my tail. I'm coming. Awesome. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-five. It's as big as twenty-five. It's, it's almost as big as the feet. Our fridge. As big as the fridge? Yeah, it might be. That might be as tall as the fridges. And then we have the basket on top. It's probably the same height. So quiet time is over, and I just spent that time basically. I made myself a decaf coffee or a half calf coffee, and edited. That's pretty much how I spent nap time. But. Now we're building a large magnet tile tower. You want to put the, this goes on the top. And I've already been thinking about dinner. I think I'm just going to use the leftover pork loin that I cooked yesterday and shred it up and use that for tacos maybe. And then my girls have American Heritage Girls tonight. They have a troop meeting. So I'll be taking them and Dan's going to stay home with the boys. Have a boys night. I know, Dad is the best. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's almost touching the ceiling. Boy, boy, boy. So my daughter's going to a birthday party tomorrow, and I just pulled out this gift that we got for her friend, and we're going to wrap it up. But I just thought I'd show you. It's so cute. This little strawberry. It is so incredibly soft. And then this super cute strawberry wallet. And then we got a little gift card to Claire's to stick inside of it. So I'm going to see if I have a box that I can wrap these up in. I'm trying to like stick that out so that she'll be able to see it. But isn't that so cute? I would, I would use something like this. Something really sweet for a little eight-year-old birthday party. All right, so since dinner is gonna be very easy, I'm just gonna kinda of reuse some leftovers. 
And I think I'm gonna cook up some shrimp as well because I already have it. So we'll do a little pork and shrimp taco kind of thing. I'm gonna just spend a little time here in the bathroom. I'm gonna do a little cleaning, not like a deep scrub, but you know, just a good once over, get all the surfaces clean, clean the floor, empty the trash, things like that. done. I just cooked up that shrimp really quick and warmed up the pork that I shredded. Just also toasting some tortillas. We have tomato and avocado cheese, sour cream to put on our tacos as well. All right, girls are dropped off at their troop meeting and now I'm actually parked outside of Panera. I brought my book and I'm going to sit and read and maybe get like a decaf tea or something. Normally I would work on my Bible study like workbook during this time, but we actually don't have, we're kind of having a spring break this week so we don't have any Bible study tomorrow. So I kind of had a free evening. So I'm currently reading Sophie Hanna's Woman with a Secret. I talked about my most recent books I've read and this one that I'm reading in my day one April vlog. So that's just what I'm going to do now. And I know sometimes they have like fireplaces inside Panera. So if they did have that, that'd be nice because it has been pouring rain all day long. It is so chilly and gloomy outside. But I am sitting under a gorgeous flowering tree. All the spring trees are all budding and they're so beautiful right now just driving along you know the roads it's so pretty to see all them despite the gloomy weather so that is my evening plan and I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here I did get the bathroom cleaned we had leftovers for dinner and now we are out and about and when I get home it's just gonna be you know get ready for bed and get ready for tomorrow. Like I said, my daughter has a birthday party to go to. I do have to actually take a little time. Maybe I'll do that before I go in. My daughter is starting soccer on Saturday actually. So I have to get her. I wasn't sure if she needed cleats and shin guards and all that. I wasn't sure if it was gonna go that far or if she could just wear sneakers. And they just emailed today and said she does need all those things. So I might just sit here for a minute and place an Amazon order and see if I can get that delivered quickly. So I'm gonna do that and then go inside and read my book and end out this night. So thanks so much for watching guys. I will be back on Tuesday for the next vlog. So I'll be seeing you then. Take care.